Hi you guys, welcome to the Rubber Room. It's me, Chris Kelly. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Rochester Hills, Michigan. And it's Wednesday night. Time for my Create with Chris Live. I'm just gonna hop on here and make sure I'm in the same, in the right spot. Um, I am going to be going in for some surgery tomorrow. I'm going to have some teeth pulled. Um, I know you guys have been keeping up with me. Know that it has been very, very painful for the past about two, two and a half weeks now. So I'm actually excited about tomorrow. But I do know I'm going to be out for a while. I think um, they said it'll take about a week to ten days. So um, <laughs> I'm busy rearranging things and trying to fit everything in. Um, we'll be going to Virginia next weekend. My um, granddaughter is gonna be baptized. So little Lucy is gonna get some company and Graham and Bobo will be there. Um, and then I come home and I'm home for about a week and I head off to Texas for our family reunion. So I have some busy weeks coming up. This is the end of the fiscal year for Stampin' Up! So. October will start a new Stampin' Up here, so I'm trying to hit all of my goals, and um, it's a pretty exciting month, but I need to get this surgery behind me so I can really appreciate the fun things I have planned. So I'm going to give you a, a couple of sneak peeks before I share my card tonight. These are the five cards that we're doing in our Christmas club this month. Um, you'll get some sequins. And you'll get the um, plaid paper. You get a quarter of a pack of the plaid paper. And then you get ribbon with it. So you're going to get the pack of green and red ribbon. So this is our first card. And we're going to be using some pearlescent paper. And the little Scotty Dog Punch. And this embossing. And it's an embossing and die cut folder. And then you can see the little tiny sequins on there. Those are a lot of fun. So we're going to make that card. And you'll be making three of each of these cards um, when you come to class. You'll make three of each of them. So it's a total of 15 cards. There's going to be four club dates. We start September. We have a meeting in October, one in November, and one at the beginning of December also. So if you haven't signed up yet, you still can. You can sign up monthly. And um, the people that signed up this time all signed up for all four of them. So they get a little special accessory from me. So this is another one we're going to do with the candy canes. And um, the trimmed rectangle. I can't think of the name of that. Um, but we're going to be using it. So <laughs> these names will come to me as soon as I turn this video off. So this is another one of the cards. And... This is the third one. This one, um, we've used that same rectangle on the outside. So it's just a bigger size on the outside. And then we cut the inside with a um, die from the Fleury's Stamp Setter Bundle. And again, some more of the sequins down here and the ribbon. And then we have this great little snowman. I love this snowman. I think he's so cute. I'll get him right up there so you can see. I did a little wink of Stella on him. So he's real sparkly and fun. And then this is the puff paint so that it looks like um, little snow drifts there. And um, the, this is my favorite embossing folder, you guys. It's so cute. It has little snowflakes on it. And then, of course, some more sequins. And then this is our third one. I've been loving playing with this gnome stamp set. And you guys might remember this. I shared this card with you last week. So this is the same card pattern. Just to give you an idea of all of the different things that you can do with these cards. They don't have to look exactly like mine. So those are the five cards we're going to be doing. And again, we have the ribbon and the designer series paper and then some of those great little sequins so those are the five cards for our christmas club this month and then on sunday 
I have um, my 3D class coming up, and it is going to be with the um, tree, tree lot dies from Celebration. So we're going to be making this cute little camper, and then I found some um, Tootsie Rolls. These are caramel apple Tootsie Rolls. So I just put those inside. So it's going to be a 3D class. We'll be doing a sampler. We'll be doing one of these. And one of these. This is a bag. This bag was um, designed by my friend Monica Jaburti. And I just loved it. So um, she got her pattern from Poodles. And she sent me over there. And I just absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. And then I did put little Velcro on the top of there so it can close. So that's gonna be a great bag for um, for Christmas. And when you signed up for this class, you got a quarter of a pack of this plaid paper, which is really, really fun. And I went to our team meeting last night. We did a swap it there. So these are some of my swap cards. I don't know who did this one, no name on this one, but this is the Candy Cane Designer Series paper and then the ribbon that goes along with that suite. And this one was done by Nancy Jones. Beautiful card, Nancy. Thank you for sharing it. And she did the um, rectangle die too. I think it's like a toward edge rectangle die maybe. And um, these great leaves. It looks like she um, used a sponge dauber to give them a little bit of depth around the edges. And then this new leaf embossing folder. I love that embossing folder. And then this one, Cheryl Spitzley did. This one was done with the Soft Seedlings stamp set. I love these little metallic brads on there too. I think those are so cool. And actually the Soft Seedlings stamp set is the stamp set that we'll be using for our Creativity Club next month, or this month actually in September. And then this one, let's see. Oh, this is one of the storybook folds. I'm not sure who made this one. Love this little idea on the inside of the card. That's great. And it's called a book binding fold. She colored her ribbon so it coordinates here. I love all these gorgeous fall flowers and colors. Just beautiful. All right. And this one was from my downline, Beth Kozik. Beth is super talented. And this card says, You're simply, you are simply fabulous. She's got some of the ribbon there that she sprayed down at the bottom. I love this kind of octagon shape there. And then she added some color to the black and white paper with um, her blends. So it's from the Simply Fabulous stamp set. And then the Very Breast Trio Punch. Very, very pretty. And let's see, this one was from Arlena Craven. We have so much talent on the Rubber Queen team. Isn't this gorgeous? I love this glitter paper. It's so pretty. And then this is um, embossing or dye. Kind of you can lift up your tree. So you get a little bit of that green glimmer in the background showing through. I really like these dies where you can do that. It just half, well, not half, part of the image cuts. So you can lift them up and it gives it so much more dimension. I think it's so cool. Very simple card, but very, very elegant. And then this one was from Nancy. Nancy is also one of our Rubber Room Ramblers. We do a um, card swap in our team group also. Last night we were at my uplines group, Rhonda Wade, and her team is the Rubber Queens, and our team is the Rubber Room Ramblers. So Nancy again used that folder that I love so much, and she put um, a little bit of Wink of Stella on there, and then embossed her design here, and then cut this one out using a die. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that rust and curry together. Cajun craze and crushed curry together. Okay, and then this one was my card. And it's the card we're going to do tonight. I told you I was having some fun with that gnome. So this is the card we're going to do tonight with it. 
and I have a piece of a Puppy Parade cardstock, and it's actually five and a half by eight and a half. And I scored the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter, right down the middle, and that's going to be my card base. I'm just going to fold it on my score line and burnish that. And then I have a piece of garden green cardstock, and I did emboss that using the Timber 3D embossing folder. So I'm just going to put some stamp and seal on here. And again, I'm going to go all the way around the entire card. There we go. Just because it's been embossed, and so I want my adhesive to be really down in all of those little nooks and crannies that um, your embossing folder makes. So I'm just going to put that right centered on there. go and then I've cut two pieces of designer series paper so I'm going to start with this the thinner piece it's the thinner longer piece and you could actually do it like this if you wanted to that's really pretty and you could still use that piece of paper with it but I'm going to use the other side I like that side a little bit better for this. I think it's not quite as busy as all of those packages. So I'm just going to line this up there. And then I'm going to take this one and do the same thing with it. Get it a little. And you probably should not be using your adhesive right on top of your card base, but I'm like living on the edge, right? <laughs> okay, so that's going to go there. And then I'm going to bring in my um, green glue, my Tombow liquid adhesive. And I'm going to move this out of the way. I have this great snowflake. And they're kind of an iridescent snowflake. But if you don't want to do that, you can color the other side of it. Can you see how iridescent it is there? Kind of catching the light. This side is just kind of a matte white finish. So you can color this side using your Stampin' Blends if you want to add a different color to it. I'm just going to use the iridescent part. And I'm just going to put my glue on the big spots of this. There we go. And then just a little tiny bit on the tips of my snowflake. Okay. And that's going to kind of go up in this corner up in here. And I'll just press those down a little bit. And then I have two circles that I cut out with the Stylish Shapes dies. So they're going to layer one on top of the other. And I think I'll put this one down first. And this one is the Garden Green. I'm going to kind of put that right in the... About right there. So it's kind of centered in the middle of these two pieces towards the edge. And... Um, vertically and horizontally centered. Okay, and then I'm just gonna bring in my Stampin' Blends. Um, I couldn't find a shaded spruce one, so I'm just gonna use my Stampin' Right marker and give him some pockets. I'm gonna color his pockets. And, gosh, that little nub tip is not really gonna get what I want it to do, so I'm gonna use my brush tip with it and color his pockets and his little kind of stripe on his mitten there and then i have my light puppy parade blend your steam and blends are sold in pairs so you have a light and a dark so i'm going to start with my light and i'm just gonna color the sleeves on his jacket or shirt. And then I'm going to color his pants in that light puppy parade color. Kind of 
go in here. There we go. And then I'm gonna come in with my dark puppy parade. I'm gonna use my little nub tip and I'm gonna color his mittens. I love these blends because they're really easy to color with. You have a lot of control when you're using that nub end. They do have a nub end and then a um, brush tip. So you have both of them. It just depends on which one you wanna use. And then I'm gonna come in and just kind of outline his hat. And these blends, they just, they blend so easily one color into another. It's just almost kind of a seamless blending there and it makes coloring. You, you look like you're a professional and all I'm really doing is, is following the lines that were on the stamp. But by using a light shade and a dark shade, you're gonna get a lot of kind of texture to it. And we'll just kind of blend it out and color it. And you do want to kind of keep your tip flat when you're coloring because that will give you a nice pointy tip to your brush tip. It'll stay nice and pointy when you're holding it more flat than straight down and putting pressure on it. You don't want to do that because that will um, make your brush tip all flat and fuzzy and you won't get that good color. Okay, how's that look? I dig it, right? And you could put some um, Wink of Stella on there if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to pop them up in some dimensionals. Always when you're coloring with your blends, you want to be sure you have some scrap paper underneath because um, it will bleed through your paper. So I'm going to use about five dimensionals on here because I don't want them to get soft and soggy in the middle. We want all of it to stay punched up a little bit. We're just going to take the backs off. They are two-sided sticky, so you don't have to add any extra adhesive there. I'm going to put them on there like that. And I have a sentiment that I stamped out. It says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And I am also going to punch that one out. I got a little ring around my edge there, so... I just stamped it on the other side. That happens sometimes. I just try to roll with the punches and flip it over. And nobody knows the difference until I share it with you on, on my Facebook Live. Now everybody who's watching knows the difference. Chris Kelly is not perfect. How about that? <laughs> I bet you knew that before I flipped this over, right? <laughs> I don't try and hide that. I don't think any of us are perfect, but, and I heard at our conference last week that 80% is good enough. So, so you don't really need to be perfect, you guys. You just need to get it out there. How fun is this, right? And I do, for my last <laughs> live that I did, because I didn't clean it up yet, I have these iridescent basic jewels. So I'm going to use a couple of those on here just to kind of add a little oomph to it. And I'll put a little one over here. There we go. How quick and easy is that? And these, this is a bundle called Kindness Gnomes, and it's just really, really super cute. We're gonna actually be making some cards with it um, in our club this month too. So let me see if anybody has any questions? Hi, Lynn and Dolores and Marie. Marie, I hope you're home for the winter now so you can get some of your um, Christmas cards done with us. And Marielle, thanks for tuning in, ladies. I'm glad that you're here watching. And you guys have a great rest of the week and a good weekend. And I'll see you back here next week. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.